Hey guys, I am in the car waiting for my mom, but we did go do a little bit of grocery shopping and we also went to the Dollar Tree and we picked up a couple of items, but I want to show you this cool little thing that I got. It's like a little, what do you call this? Kind of like a circular jar thingamajigger, but I'm going to put like some plants in here, some life plants, some sand, and maybe a piece of wood or a rock here and turn it into like a little mini aquarium. Definitely not gonna put any fish in here because it's way too small for a fish. Like, here's what it looks like. But yeah, I also got some other stuff from the Dollar Tree, which I'll show you when we get home and all that good stuff. It's very cool. I've always wanted like a small circular aquarium. So again, yeah, it's very, very tiny, but it's also glass. But it'll be nice to just have it as a little mini aquarium thing. I'm probably just gonna have some snails in here and that's it. Maybe a shrimp. I don't know. We'll see how that plays out, but my goal is to obviously not put a heater in here because it's way too small and to not put a filter in here either, but we'll see how that plays out. I kind of want it to just be natural and just like leave it be. We'll see. Okay guys, so we're back home. I'm going to put all the food that we have in the refrigerator. I would show you, but it's just food. Not that interesting, but I'll show you all the other stuff that we did get. So yeah, let me quickly put everything in the fridge. Okay guys, so these chicken first or whatever they are, I don't know, drumsticks I guess. Um, they were on sale for five bucks, so I'm going to give the dogs one today, and then tomorrow, and then the day after tomorrow, see what they think. He approves. I should go give this to my other dog outside. I'm sure they will love to eat it. Eat it, well, that's for you. Mm-hmm. Sorry, it's kind of a floor's a mess right now because I'm in the middle of the groceries away and also feeding the dogs. Let's see if I can give Junior this piece. Come here, babe. Look. For you, handsome. Come here. Mmm. Go eat it. Good boy. Eat it. That's for you. Good boy. You're very foolish. You think you're in privacy. Eat it, handsome. It's confused. <laughs> Let's see what's happening. Are you going to eat your bone? You got to bite it. You can do it. Take a bite. Good boy. Here, should I hold it this side? Here. Bite. You think they're confused. <laughs> He's, he took a crunch of it. Good boy, Junior. Eat it. That's for you, babe. He figured out how to eat it. Good boy. Take a bite. That's yours. Good boy. He's still eating it, which is good. But anyways, the reason why I decided to get them some fresh bones, I'm going to do this more often, fresh meat or whatever, raw meat, just so they can have different changes of food instead of just always kibble. And of course, you know, I'm going to mix other things in there too. I don't know if that blood is from his mouth or what the hell is going on there, but... Or if it's just this meat. I think this might be too big for him, so I don't know. Let's see how the other dog's doing. Oh, he's still figuring out what to do with it. Let's see. <laughs> he's deciding where he can safely eat it. They're not used to eating these kinds. Usually I get him smaller pieces, like, not like gigantic pieces like this. I don't know. So I think they're confused as to how to eat it, but that's fine. And he wanted a second piece, so that's his second bone. Yeah, all right. Okay, I just gave him his bone, the second one. So now we'll see what he does. I think he'll eat it. Are you happy? Yeah, it's for you. <laughs> Yummy. Good boy. You already have two pieces. Spoiled. Guys. He's, he dug a hole. And he hid one of the bones, one of the chicken breasts in there. Do 
you imagine that? I've never seen him dig and hide his food like that. That's a first. I wonder if he's going to go dig it up. He has his second hole. What's he doing? Did he dig another hole over there? Are you hiding your bones? Are you hiding them for later? Very smart cookie, huh? Good boy. Good boy. Sorry for the room glare. I know room not the best. By the way, we did get this at Goodwill. I think for six dollars or something like that. But if you raise what it looks like, the cute little thing. I think it was priced pretty good. Oops, I gotta fix him a little more. But yeah, he's very cute. I'm definitely happy with this purchase. I'll show you the rest of the stuff. I wonder if he's gonna go look at his little treasure that he buried. Or maybe my other oh my other dog is looking for it. He's gonna go investigate. Where's your bone? Let's see if he does anything. He buried it over there. And I think he first buried one over there. Oh yeah, let's pee probably where this guy just peed. Very cool. Good boys. Good boys. So let me show you some of the stuff I got from the Dollar Tree. I got this Halloween sign. Happy Halloween sign. We got this keep out sign. This foldable collapsible water dish. Could probably be a food dish too, but I'm gonna use it for water. Which is nice because it clips on and you can attach it to your dogs too. And then this little skeleton here, which I think is super cute. I want to get like a life-size one and put it in the back of my car or in my passenger seat and spray people. I don't know if we got this from the dollar store. I do not know, but I guess I'll just show you that. But a whole bunch of candy. Come here, Junior! Lots of candy. Nail polish for my mom. And then this cute little jar, which I think is just super cute. So, yeah, we also did get that small fish tank thing, but it's somewhere else right now. But that's what we got, so I'm going to put this guy outside. Get him ready for the spirit of Halloween. guys i want to show you the cutest outfit for this guy <laughs> this is um boo to full <laughs> he's a little thick but you know what that's okay i mean he looks so cute with it you look so handsome handsome come here <laughs> he's like what is this you look very cute so that we got from goodwill this is the first ever really that he's ever had like a little outfit like this so yeah it's cute and that was for or from Goodwill for $4.99, but the red tags usually mean they're half off, so you get them for half the price. We also did get, so all of this is from Goodwill. We got this little cute thing, I don't know, just, it was cute, my mom wanted to get it. And then we got this puzzle piece, which is like a thousand puzzle pieces that my mom and I are going to do. This one looks really cute. And we also got this, I wanted to get this because, um... If you guys remember a few videos back, probably last year, or yeah, I think last year, um, there was a gravesite that said baby on it, and I got this to put next to the baby gravesite, the tombstone or whatever it's, you call it. But um, if you guys let me know, is it weird if I leave this next to there? Like, I don't know the people, but I just always wanted to get something special for the little baby tombstone. So it just says baby on it, so I decided to get this one for the little baby. And then I also got these little balls. They're kind of soft. I think the dogs will have fun with that at home to chew or not chew, just play ball with. Look at him, why does he look so miserable? Bubsy! He's like, uh uh. And then we got this little scarecrow thing with Jigger. Very cute. So we got those four items. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I may have forgotten, but I don't think so. I'm trying to tidy up the house really quickly before I have to pick up my mom. Hey guys, so if you remember this little jar thing that I had set up by my window, well, yeah, it grew a lot of algae as expected. Um, there's a couple of baby snails in here, but not much has really changed or happened. But what I'm going to do anyways is empty all of this out, clean it, and then just use it for something else. And then I'm going to start a separate setup like this, but into my little glass jar thing that I bought. 
and I'm gonna have that be somewhere else not directly in the Sun I don't think so we'll see how that plays out so the remote dog training collar is here I'm gonna open it but it's waterproof rechargeable looks like a box food that you would get for like an iPhone anyways let's open it okay so here is the stuff that it comes with this these like battery things Charger. A little thing to like, I guess, hold your remote control probably. And then, okay, oh, this one handy. Here is what it looks like. I like the color orange. If I can see. Anyways, this is what it looks like, but has some instructions. It's tiny, cute. Hey guys, so I'm walking in there with me. Um, this is the first time walking and testing this thing out. Um, he did kind of react to dogs in the backyard. I didn't use a shock color. I tried to, but I think the setting was on too low, so it didn't really work. But I'm gonna try again if we have that issue. Hopefully, we don't. But he's doing pretty good. I've got some treats with me. My only worry is mainly just like off leash dogs or dogs tied in front of the house or something that, which is why I always worry about when it comes to walking him. But so far, nothing's happening. So we're okay. There's some people down there with their car doing something. I'm not sure. I keep hearing like some guns sound going off so maybe that's what they're doing but I'm just gonna keep myself around in this area over here but it's a beautiful day um, so far the walk's been good again like I said hasn't been too bad it's just he reacted to these dogs in the backyard who first reacted to him so yeah there's that but not too bad again um, yeah just walking a little bit here beautiful day for a nice little walk I forgot that I should have bought my water with me so that he can have something to drink but it's fine it's not like a long super long walk or anything nice here we're taking a late evening walk which i mean like we do sometimes do actually late evening walks yeah they're definitely shooting something over there so i'm just gonna keep my distance and not go near there come on let's go baby and now we are walking this young fun baby He's got to smell every single spot as usual. So this is my lunch slash dinner. It's been a while since I've had like pasta. So we've just got some pasta over here. Spaghetti sauce with some garlic toast on the side. And we're going to watch Stephanie Sue on here and eat. Hey, Eric. I wanted to share with you guys the tsunami sounds. The tsunami siren. Definitely hear it. This is not a real one. This is, I mean, they're testing it. It's just like a testing one, so that we know, what, you know, what to expect when a real one comes on. But yeah, so you can definitely hear this and be aware of a tsunami coming. So that's good. But yeah, you can definitely hear it. Come on. What do you think? It scared all the crows that were in the trees, from what I've noticed. They all flew away. They're up there. It's very loud. Let's listen to it one more time. Yeah, it's very, very loud. I'm gonna make some breakfast now. It's like nine o'clock, so time for some breakfast. What do you think, Junior? What do you think of the sound? Oh, I love you so much. 